Rude and silent type, huh? John, you didn't say he was a first-class boar. But in here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us. I want to get an idea why. Well, he offered me. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys. Oh, you, sh you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. What, because I beat one guy's ass who was drunk? Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Now she and I are probably about to have a conversation. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. Yeah, I got you. He thinks the world of you. I'm sure he does. Actually, I know he does. So I ask myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? I think you have it the other way around. What does he it's want? Kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. John and I went through a lot in Arkham. He's a friend. Oh, ain't that cute? You're sweet on little old Puddin. Oh, you have your own nickname for him too? That's the thing, lover boy. Guys like him don't have friends like you. You do realize that I was put in Arkham Asylum, right? Just saying. And by the way, well, no, I'll wait till this is over. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. Oh. Well. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Because I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to... You know what? I'm going to leave you on a juicy cliffhanger. This shall be the end of this video. Number one, goodbye. All right, number two. To believe you won't into the cops the first chance you get. John vouched for me, didn't he? That's got to count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. Uh -huh. You're going to have to earn my respect. And it's going to take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Okay, so how do I earn your respect? With my th with my oh, dick gee, deep down your throat. Good. We gotta go. Oh shit! That's this motherfucker's car. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how much he liked you, Pud. Got a little man crush on ya. Not Ain't that right, Brucey? Quite. Ain't that the gist of it? <laughs> I was just kidding around. I, I didn't mean anything I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta stand by your words or you ain't nothing at all. It's okay, Bruce. I want you to know the feeling's mutual. <laughs> you know... Like, this is beginning to get really weird between me and Spastic Ass at this point. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Either you're sticking the straw on all the wrong parts, or you've already finished the whole damn thing, which is which Suck makes you question why you haven't gotten the uh, brain freeze yet. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. Ah. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. <laughs> he just. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> fucking. He just grabs that shit. Um. By the way, 
I would have actually done it, one, to impress her, and two, because I, I don't, like, in real life, I wouldn't care I would do it, unless I, you know, I, unless she, I knew she had, like, mouth herpes or something. Um, but, like, John was, uh, he was right there, Spastic Ass is right there, and I know he has a crush on Spastic Ho, and that's kind of crossing a boundary line right there, especially right in front of him. So, uh, that's why I didn't do it. <clears throat> okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. What's up? You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. You're gonna have me rob a motherfucking bank, aren't you? Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me. I'll know you're on the level. Maybe oh, I'll even fuck. bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. How do you know? <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Well... Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the sh things I ask for? Of course he will, Harley. He wouldn't be here otherwise. If you ain't got any more questions, Brucey, what do you say we get this show on the road? Dude, those two cars almost hit each other. You're on, Brucey boy. Oh, fuck. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. This is about and to be hurry. a fucking tragedy. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Spastic ass wants your taco. Oh god. You know, I hope they I hope they give me a way to bullshit this. I really do. One thing I gotta be curious though about. <laughs> I mean, they know this is my place. This is Wayne Enterprises. Like, I don't understand why she. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. You gonna make the CEO sign in? That, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. That seems kind of weird, even with an attack. But all right. So, um. What brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. <laughs> I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir. By the way, the reason I used that excuse isn't only just because how simple it is, it's also because I've legit, well, not that way. I've legitimately done a certain degree of that when I was at work. Um, Cause we would have what's called a CAC, which is a common access card. And you need it for just about every fucking thing. And there, ha there was more than one time when I would accidentally leave without it somewhere, even when I needed it where I was going and it would fuck me over for a little bit. And that's the reason I chose that one. I was like, you know, I've done this before. It's totally believable. Sup, security guard. You don't know that I'm up to some nefarious activities here. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. Oh, <laughs> really They're already in here. Hiring practices, Bruce. A man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. See, okay, but like, why would you guys even trust me to come in here by myself 
If you had no intention, if you were just gonna come in here anyway, what's the fucking point? Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator works, don't you? It's for the greater good. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Oh, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? A uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. I hope they got my good side. Oh, shit. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Yeah, Harley figured you'd want some company. Of course you didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. Now it's part of the test. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. You think I could do it? If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh, come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh. Gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> What's up with this maniacal laugh you got going hey, on all hey, the time? Pull it together, puts. All that slushy you drink has got you. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being her. Imagine, imagine, imagine just working and building. No, no, she's the part of the board of directors. Like, but I mean, you could just, you could just be like in a hotel. You could just, be like, you should be like some visitor at a hotel. Well, no, no, that's not true. Okay, like, like, imagine like you work in this building. You step on the elevator. You see one of your coworkers or two people dressed like really weirdly, and then one of them just starts laughing like, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh god, this is gonna... Oh god. Oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? I don't believe we've met. Uh, friends from upstate, they don't get to Gotham often. Yeah, you know, we just could miss getting a look inside this place. Oh? You should have told me you were coming in. I'd have had facilities set up a tour. Why don't you show us around? All we really want to see is the crater. That's fucked up. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Yes, actually. Oh, God. It's like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Oh, okay. excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? <sighs> Fuck! I wanna say it won't happen again. Uh, your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. I'm sorry, Harley, it won't happen again. That's for damn sure. 
But there's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. <laughs> You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. So what now the are you like? Makes a girl go weak at the knees. Oh, so what, what now are you fucking flattered with me and amorous towards me? Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could call out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? Bruce is right. We are people with purpose. <laughs> he likes her. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like, like if it wasn't for him liking her and all that, I would have probably said, "Yeah, why not?" We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Bro, John, you're kind of pussy whip, bro. Damn. Mince. This sucks, dude. She's more attracted to Bruce now than she is. Oh. The fuck was that? Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. You know exactly how to get into it, don't you? Say. Do you like chess? She knows exactly. Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Oh god. I think this is a bad idea because they're using me far more than I'm using them. I haven't gotten a damn thing out of this so I far. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Mm. Like it? Oh no, this. This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. I thought you told her that. Well, Just... what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. You know, I don't like Spastico. She's too pushy and bossy. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. Ain't that a bitch? That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Correct. Oh, all the dumb luck. So you guys are fucked. You're saying we can't get it open then? I really he's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Bro, okay, like, like, I would just let bygones be bygones at this point. Like, fuck it. Always thinking, this guy. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. 
Huh. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Nothing. All right, that's a start. Oh, I gotta scan multiple things. Well, this is bound to have a fuckload of prints all over it. Getting there. That's it. Hmm. One more partial print should do it. <clears throat> all right. Now that's a shiny piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Oh. There we go. Okay, this will work. Although you do realize that you just gave him the tools to fuck you over, right? Touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Spastico is a bitch, dude. I'll tell you what. I'd call her Spastic Bitch, but Cat Bitch already has that name. Looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. Oh. This. This is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell Seriously. are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I know it! His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out mm. of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, you need to get physical. I get it. Be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, <laughs> she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Just act natural. Natural? Yes, natural. Acting normal, like there's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means what? keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. Thank you. What I really mm. need is the phalanx key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? Yes. That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Yoo-hoo! What the hell is going on in there? I don't like it any more than you do, Tiffany. But this is the only way to walk away safely. Trust me, it's the right thing to do. It's a little too late for that. Oh. No. Ah! Ah! Tiffany. Oh, fuck. Well, how about that? 
Mm. Looks like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? I'm gonna have to find out the hard way. We grew up together. You could say she's family. You have no family of mine. Oof, Bruce. Your friend seems a little hot under the car. You wouldn't lie to save your own life. <laughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say your spark? You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab. I whacked a yeah, bunch of people much. in my time, sure. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you'd associate with these, with these maniacs, these killers. Oh, sweetheart, Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Lucy? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Uh, at least that's what you've been saying. I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. Real quick. You'll notice I did an edit there. No bullshit. It took me eight minutes of critical thinking to finally decide to choose that. And here's why I chose it. Because I figure that the way in the long term, I figure the way it's gonna go down is that if I would've sided with Harley Quinn still, with um, Spastic Bitch, Spastico, um, then what would've happened, or Psycho Ho, then, like, I would have gotten goody-goody with the bad guys, but that would have been a conflict of interest because they would have expected me to keep... Like, this is step one. They would have kept wanting me to do this bullshit with Wayne Enterprises the whole fucking time, which would be a conflict of interest not only with Batman, you know, with the other persona, but also with Bruce Wayne himself because, you know, he would be working behind the scenes also against his own organization. This doesn't make any sense. So I... And besides... It's pretty telling that I'm going to have to beat these guys eventually anyway by the end of episode 5. So I figured that if I were to sign with, if I was to side with Spastic Ass, Spicico and Spastic Ass, then I would eventually have to go against them anyway. And then by then, my relationship with Tiffany and everybody else would have deteriorated too much. You know, it would have just been bad. That's the reason why I decided to side with Tiffany now, because I figured it would be better to do it now rather than do it long down the line after shit's already gone downhill. But let's see what happens now because of this. Not bad. I know it's changed. Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. I know it was. And you know where I stand now. Go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. For what? Hurry it up. Wait, so I'm, that didn't change anything? Like immediately? Hmm. <clears throat> You've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. So what, all that, so then all that really did in the end was just change my relationship with Harley? I still have to be there? Now it just, oh my fucking god. See, this is, I swear to god. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. 
My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? No. You know what she's like? Mm. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Well, unless just tell Maybe her. Maybe we should just... tell her. I agree. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, I planned from beginning. Regards to tonight's other catastrophes. Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've good. already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation, and replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank <laughs> you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from upstate. I'll just be honest with her about it. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. No shit. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, uh, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. Well, now you thought me, something else. I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Oh, trust me, I know. No, like, like I said, I just spent eight minutes thinking about one fucking choice. You think this isn't taxing on, on me as well? I wasn't expecting me to think this much outside of school. You know, I okay, I, I already knew about that Batman light before I you know, that was one of the few things I knew about Batman before I played this game or you know all that shit. But one thing that makes no sense to me is why would you use a spotlight with the bat logo on it? Like yeah, it would attract Batman, but that would also attract any potential Batman enemies. It would attract potential reporters, like who Vicky Vale originally was before she became Lady Cunt, or before she was revealed as Lady Cunt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It, it seems like a dumb idea to do that, realistically. Well, be careful, and good luck. And that'd be a pretty good place for an enemy to set up, like, a sniper position, and then Batman comes, and then whoop bam brain splattered all over the fucking pavement and shit or the roof of the building just saying not smart and this video might be a bit shorter than usual because of my long thinking session with that choice <sighs> all right <clears throat> Been a busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. Yep. He'll remember what? Me tell me it's a good night. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Ah, oh, well, congratulations. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. What's up, Agency Horde? Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. 
Well, Go what? fuck yourself, Agency You'll Corp. You'll put him on timeout. <laughs> I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all <laughs> you, you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. That is true, isn't it, huh? Like, out of all the bullshit that happened in Gotham, Batman's the only one who turned out good. Everybody else is like a psychotic freak who's just trying to destroy the city for whatever goddamn reason. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Huh. Her hometown hero. It cost her a lot. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, so she does know? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait! Wait a minute! So when she came to me in Wayne Enterprises, she already fucking knew? Wow. For the world's greatest Touché. detective, you sure can be slow. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. No the shit. Stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. All right. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. <laughs> Batman. If it gets bad for you, just remember. We're out here. <laughs> when you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped. And you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I don't care, I'll betray the code. Whatever I have to do to put these scum away, I'm sure I'll get over it. That's the spirit. I don't have a code against killing. Only he does. Ah. 
Okay. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Although, why would they trust me after what I said to... You know, they don't trust me, though. They're just using me. It's clear. Like, I, I don't think that they would even fall, fall for me if I told them to go to a specific place like, uh, like Agency Whore wants me to. Because they don't trust me. They're using me at this point. Right. Oh, that's... Oh. Here we go. And that is it for this video. I shall see everybody next time on Season 2, Episode 2, Number 3. This is a long-ass title, so I'll tell you what. That is once this goes away. This thing's taking a long time to load up. In. There we go. Alright, see you guys later. Number 3. Well, this has been Number 2, but see you on Number 3.